Alright, so I'm going to show you how to flash an H200 card uh, for HBA, BA IT pass through mode. So I'm using this tutorial. The link's in the description below. Uh, first thing you want to do is just uh, use Rufus to download um, FreeDOS. Um, so <coughs> to download Rufus, just go to the Rufus website and then you can just download it for your operating system. I already have Rufus downloaded, so what I'm going to end up doing is selecting FreeDOS, MBR, BIOS, everything looks good, and then just hit start, and hit OK, and that's going to format and get my drive ready for um, FreeDOS. Now, it's already done, so I'm just going to hit close. I'm going to go to the flash and I'm going to download the zip file from this location. Then I'm going to open up my share drive, which is my USB stick. And we already have the information on the USB stick right here. So this is where I'm going to paste that downloaded file. And then I'm just going to extract it to a folder. And then now that it's complete, I'm going to run downstairs and um, install it. So as we know that I have an 8700 card on my R710, which is Harbor RAID, and I want to use it in HPA mode, so I picked me up an H200, I have to flash it, so I'm going to show you quickly how I flash mine. So the first thing, I don't need this on it, so I'm going to take it off. Which is two screws, and this way I don't have to worry it will fit exactly where the 700 goes in my machine. As you know, I'm going to flash the H200 card into HBA IT mode. And right here, I got the USB drive that I downloaded the upgrade to. So we're going to set there and put that into the If I put in the right drive. Alright, so plug that into the USB, take the card, and this is just an old machine, and I'm only using this to flash it, and I'm just going to snap it in, and I'm just going to let it set there because it's going to be temporarily, so I don't need to really secure it. And besides, I already took the top off, and I'm not going to put it back on. So, there you have Alright, so with the card in, I'm just going to turn on the computer. And it should just boot up into um, free DOS, and then it just runs the command and get it going. Okay. Okay. Now that we're um, logged in, we're just going to check the directory out, make sure that we're in the right one, and we are. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to CD into the directory, which is the L L S I. I'm going to look at the directory, just make sure again that we have all the right files, which we do. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get the MAC address. So we're going to type in SAS2 F L S H dot E X E dash C zero dash L I 
S T. And that is going to give us our MAC address for our thing, which is the SAS address going across. And we're going to have to write that down because we're going to need it later. So we're going to go on PARS and go ahead and do that. Alright, so the next thing we have to do is just to run the following commands that are in the instructions. And again, they're listed below the uh, link to the website where I got them from. to success. So the next thing we do Okay, so that ends up being a success. Now, we're going to run it again. This time, I'm going to do a clean flash zero. And we'll end up um, spinning that up to 100% in edit. All right, so now that that's installed, <coughs> I just got to reboot it. Alright, now that it's rebooted, I just got to go back into my um, directory again. Make sure I'm in the right one. And I am. And now I'm actually going to stop the flash. So I'm going to type in the command. the file. Go ahead and run it. And I got an error. Why? Oh, I put a zero there. That should be an O. So we're going to go through this process, and then uh, once this is done, we're going to have to reboot it again. Alright, so that's um, successful, so we're going to go ahead and reboot. Now that we're in our directory, I'm going to do, do the flash again. Remember that's an O, not a zero. 
but this time we're selecting the 2118P7.bin file. Alright, so I forgot to put my space in there is what happened. And then <clears throat> again we're going to sit there and add to the um, bin. Then we're going to reboot after this is done. Alright, so <clears throat> here we are before we reboot. It's asking us if we like to flash this anyway. Um, the version's compatible, so I'm just going to say yes. And if not, you know, it's a $40 card. Alright, so everything's successful, so we're going to do our last reboot. So let's do this one more time. Alright, so we're going to go to our directory, we're going to type in a last command, D. And this last part is going to be your MAC address. So yours is going to be different than mine. We're not going to use the dashes. So Go ahead and enter this. Hit enter. And I did it again, right? I should have made that an O instead of a zero. So everything should be good now. And if <clears throat> after this, we're just going to take it out of the machine and I'm going to put it in the um, R710 well, I'd have to grab that card alright so this is the H700 <laughs> this here is the H200 and all we're going to do is just pop this card out and then pop this card in and then um, hook everything else back up so just end up unplugging everything. So we got the um, H200 card, so we're just going to slide that right in there. Perfect fit. 
and that gives me plenty of room to plug in my cables. So I got here. All right, so this one A over here. A is this one right here. So, all right, so that's A. That's A. So we're just going to go ahead and snap it in A. Not that I need to do this. This is um, the B cable right here. Just double check. I'm going to probably just go under the A cable a little bit better. And then I'm going to snap that in here. Maybe. B and A's are in there, so let's be alright. So we're good to go. This um, battery we don't need anymore. So if I wanted to, I could just pop it out and take it out. Um, this, this cable right here. Um, I don't know. I'm talking about I might just pop it out, but you guys don't need to see that. I'll just get us up there, put the top back on, and we'll be good to go. So um, that's in. Uh, if you want to leave the wire for the battery. You can. If not, just take the battery out. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, so let's put this back together and then I'll see if it works. Alright, so I logged into Unraid and if I go down here to the bottom, you see all my drives are showing up. So the flash worked and we are good to go.